Jamel Horton. And I'm Holly Rowling. And we are the rock stars with Flora mm -hmm. Mid-South Realty. This is our coffee time this week, and we are going to be talking to you guys about the do's and don'ts of staging your home. So we'll just get right into it. Happy spring, everyone. Yep, fresh week of spring. It is. So we're going to talk about the mistakes of the staging of your home first. So I think one of the first things that I kind of want to highlight is how your home is photographed. What is a thing that you might think is a good thing, but it's not? Right. I mean, the big thing you can do is just walk through your house, pretend like you've never been in this house before, and just look at it. If you're going to take a picture, obviously you're not going to want to take a picture if there is a mountain of beer cans laying around. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that, is, but, that will not look good on the MLS. So, no. But <laughs> I've seen pictures like that, and I'm probably going to share that on here. There is also... Um, if you have a fireplace or a beautiful window, that is going to be a focal point. Right. So make sure you stage your furniture and furnishings around that. Really, really put emphasis on that fireplace or that window because, you know, you don't want to have a couch in front of that fireplace. So let's just move it over to the side. Or if Highlight the good focal point of your home. Yes. That's a good thing. Yeah. Um, another thing is how your furniture is staged. You don't want your furniture. You don't want it on an angle. angle. Yeah. Make sure it's all just kind of, because when you turn stuff at a caddy corner, it makes the room feel smaller. And we really want to people to see the square footage and see how big it actually is. And so we just, you know, big clunky furniture turned at a caddy corner. It just makes the room even feel even smaller than it is. Confined. You don't yeah. want that when you're selling a home. You want the buyer to come in and feel all this open and space and, Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, moving on. So, how do you guys feel about area rugs? Because a lot of a lot of times people want to show that beautiful floor and this and that, and that's mm -hmm. a perfect thing. But I'm going to have Holly kind of give you a reason why area rugs are a good thing. So, I mean, if you have an open floor plan, especially an open floor plan, um, you really want that rug to help differentiate parts of the house. Right. especially in an open floor plan, and it just warms the whole room. It makes it more inviting, but it especially just, this is the living room. You can tell this is the living room. You can tell where the seating area is, maybe like the, the open dining room and the new kitchen. I mean, it is obvious, but it just kind of brings it all together and ties it together. Absolutely. Okay, so another thing, you've got a small wall, mm -hmm. Holly, or you've got a big wall. Help them understand the difference between a small wall <laughs> and a big wall when you're thinking about hanging art. art. Yeah. Yes. So if you've got if you've got a really big wall, you don't want to have this tiny little picture on this great big wall. It just it it looks out of proportion. You can even tell that anybody could probably tell that. So you want to make sure you have artwork that is kind of fits that wall. So it's like a, if you have a good size wall, you need a good size picture. Right. Or if you have smaller pictures you can do a grouping of pictures and like just a make it a collage yeah mm -hmm. um this is another thing you know we talk about uh depersonalizing yes I, obviously you don't want to have a gallery of your family photos i mean i think those are beautiful i have them at my house but of your family photos as artwork but in something like that kind of situation you don't want to you want to make sure you take those down because we want someone to come in and see their, their home. home not your pictures personally not saying that your pictures are a bad thing no. not saying you can't keep some you just don't possibly you want to take some of those down because yes you do want those buyers just like you said to feel like this is somewhere i can live mm -hmm. this is somewhere my family can make memories mm -hmm. and those types of things right um okay i think the one of if not the most i feel like is importing on staging a home and making it feel good and just bright and cheerful is the lighting. Yeah, I think that is, I would say that's probably number one. I mean, when we get there as realtors, if we could get there before our clients, first things that we do is we go in and we turn, turn on, on all, all the lights. lights. And if there is screen doors, I open up front door, back door. I let as much natural light in as possible because you really want that outside. You want to be able to see outside. If you've got blinds, open them. Right. If you have broken blinds, replace them or take them down. Um, I, I did have that on a house before. They was like, look, Holly, we've got all these broken blinds. What do we do? And I said, you need to get rid of all those broken blinds. Just take them all down, throw them all away. 
Well, there's no reason to keep it. And so, um, if you've got burnout bulbs, replace them. If you don't have very many windows in like older homes, I noticed, um, maybe you don't have like the big cannon lights or anything like that, get those um, like the natural light, outdoor bright lights and replace your lamps, your um, your stand-up lamps, your floor lamps, those kinds of things. Absolutely. With bright bulbs. Yeah. And turn them all on. Turn, turn them all on. <laughs> Um, but like you said, natural light is a great thing, guys. I mean, it is. So if you do have those blinds, open them. Let that natural light be shown. I think yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, another mistake, um, we're about at number seven, is sellers not thinking about who that potential buyer could be. Could it be family? Could it be um, an older couple? Anything like that. That's something to keep in mind. Um, Holly mm -hmm. will kind of tell you. Just Yeah, you know. I mean, if... If you've got, let's just say you have a two bedroom house. Well, that's gonna to appeal to somebody who's probably single, a, a newly married couple, because then, so I would say, suggest you stage one room as the master bedroom, and you stage the other bedroom either as a guest bedroom, which I would recommend, or an office. That's okay yeah. too. Um, because that is gonna, that's what's gonna draw those people in. You don't wanna necessarily have a master bedroom and have that second bedroom a nursery. So, because it would just kind of like, I mean, it even though it might have worked off. for you, it might not work for your for potential buyer. Potential buyers, right? So that's where you have to kind of highlight. I mean, I think that's really important. So I mean, you don't have to necessarily stage every single room of your right. house. Um, just you know, we we constantly re repeat, repeat, repeat. Just clean, make your beds. Yes, that is clean and make yes. your beds. Clean. We will get into the do's on yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so another mistake I feel like sometimes happens too, when they really take into the consideration of what we're saying, making your house too bland. Mm -hmm. So kind of yeah, like to touch I mean, on that. So, I mean, what we mean too bland is you take everything out of the house and you leave no color. You went in and you painted all neutral colors. That's great. I love that. But if you do have, if you, if you're still living there, leave your sofa, add a th couple of throw pillows colorful. on there. Just colorful, not too many, you know, it, some colorful artwork. That's great too. You want to keep a little bit of color. And um, if you, your countertops, uh, keep them all clean and decluttered, but maybe have that one or two things sitting on your countertop that's bright and colorful, a, a basket full of lemons or a basket full of apples. Absolutely. Just something that's bright and colorful. Just you want to keep it interesting. Absolutely. Okay. So that's kind of, we just wanted to highlight a few um, of mistakes that sometimes sellers can do and not even sometimes even think about. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of what we're here for. And that's, we, you know, we want to give you as much information as we possibly can to help you to educate you. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. what we, we are all about. That's our goal. Educating. Yes. yes. Um, so let's go into some of the do's of um, how you can help your home sell better, faster, potential, you know, make mm -hmm. those buyers feel more welcome and like, oh, this place is beautiful. So that is the goal. Um, so let's talk about some, some do's. And one thing you mentioned is yes. decluttering, picking up, cleaning, making sure it smells good, um, just having a really clean yes. house. Make sure the dishes are done. Absolutely. You know, stick them in the dishwasher the night before. If you don't have a dishwasher, you know, yeah, just spend a couple minutes, you know, doing dishes. Um, another little tip to do, uh, break out that fine china of the, you know, the styrofoam plates. <laughs> <laughs> Plastic forks. So you don't have to worry about doing the dishes. Use the... Um... And as quickly as things are selling, you know, and when Absolutely. you hire us as an agent, things are probably going to sell quickly. So you're going to, I mean, you won't have a whole long time to have to really stress, oh my gosh, I got to suit these floors. I got to make those beds. I got to do those dishes every single day. You know, it's going to go quickly. It really is. Um, let's see. So we kind of talked a little bit about um, doing like refreshing colors. So say you took the time to, which I think is great, painting your wall a neutral color, especially light gray. I love it. I think it's great. It's Something everybody loves. White has made a huge comeback. It has. Too. It, it has. really has. Um, especially like the white that's got that touch of gray. You see it a lot too. Mm -hmm. But white has. I mean, it, it has really made a huge comeback because people are bringing out colors mm -hmm. in their curtains, in their artwork, pillows. pillows, all that. And you see a lot of times, and we talked about um, highlighting things, guys. If you have a beautiful 
wallpaper wall or a beautiful wood wall, highlight those things and make your furniture, make it look good for that highlight. Um, yeah. So that's another thing. Light Refresh fixtures. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. Too. Refreshing think your that. rooms with something that pops. Color, um, decor, wall, your furniture, whatever. You know, just making something pop. Something yes. good and fresh. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, doing the small. If you don't want to do a big renovation, like um, gutting your kitchen or your bathroom. I mean, we obviously understand sometimes that it's needed. But you can do small renovations like... Uh, paint, paint your, your cabinets, cabinets. <laughs> um, if they don't if they can't just clean mag magic eraser those things in yeah. the walls i mean magic eraser goes a long way it really does it um really but a does. coat of paint yeah and it's is, pretty cheap and it goes a long way and something else to even make the cabinets look even more modern in nowadays is change the knobs oh. yes change those little drawer pulls to something a little bit more modern a little mm -hmm. bit more sleek and man you're talking about really bumping up the value of a home, any kind of little remodel, it just, it really bumps it up. It mm -hmm. brings in the buyers. They're like, oh, I walk in. They're like, oh, the cabinets are so awesome. beautiful. Beautiful. It really makes a huge difference. So if you can put just a little bit of money into something, that's a that good is a really big investment yeah. on, your, and on your return. We were talking about educating you guys. Holly, share about some things about the front door, about oh, how yeah, curb that's, appeal. Yeah, you know, I was just telling her, I was like, you know, one of the biggest things anybody can possibly do to help um, curb appeal, just paint your front door. Mm -hmm. Just take some, uh, you know, just paint it, a clean coat of paint. People don't ever think about that, I think. They just kind of overlook that. But smack some paint on that door. If you got a couple of pots right there, stick some plants in there. And, you know, beside the door or something, it just, it draws people's it attention does. from the that... street. Because people's first, they're driving by, by. and they're looking before they'll even sometimes even come in or call us and say, hey, we want to come see this house. Curb They're appeal already list. looking. And I can tell you, when we was looking for our own house, you know, the first thing I would drive, before I called a realtor, I would drive up to that house and I'd look and I'd either back out of that driveway or I'd call and say, I want to go see that. I backed out of so many driveways saying, mm -mm, no. This Curb place appeal is, is big. So me. if you can't afford like a full landscaping, which I don't think is a bad idea, spring is coming, people are looking for that. Get you mm -hmm. some hanging baskets. Make it look good out there. Yeah. And, hey, take those old pots, spray paint them. Spray paint them a oh, good, yeah. funky, a good you know, color that'll match that new painted front, uh, front door. Guys, it'll go a long way. Yeah. Go don't a long go way. funky on the front door, though, because you don't want no lime green front door. Well, no, no. <laughs> you do always keep in mind of your who's that potential buyer, what is it going to yeah. stick out to, and... Do something that's just good and fresh and, mm -hmm. you know, is inviting. Yes. That's, that's um, important. So, that is, I think, one of the biggest things. We talked a little bit about um, your accessories, your home value, like what is personal to you. Um, that kind of goes into staging two of your dues. Um, we're not saying take away everything that's personal. No. Just those family portraits put them up, save them for your new home. Yeah. And um, so I think that's, backs, that's another one. Like yeah, if you've I mean, got like a whole shelf full of these little BD figurine knickknacks that you've been collecting. Let's maybe put, those up. put most of them up. Mm -hmm. Maybe just leave a couple here and there. Uh, just really minimize. Mm -hmm. That is kind of what we're seeing a lot of people are going to nowadays is minimalizing. I mean, think about it. People are even really drawn to tiny homes nowadays because, well, you right. can't have all these things. People are really finding a minimalist uh, beneficial and attracting. It's more organized and it feels comfortable. Absolutely. Um, we talked a little bit about the front curb appeal. Guys, don't forget, if you've got a beautiful backyard, make it beautiful. Yes. I mean, a backyard is a big, big, big thing. You got yeah. a good patio, make it be a good patio. If it needs mm -hmm. some freshening up, do that. It Pester, does. Or wash the patio off. And that doesn't it's take dirty. a lot. Yeah. So anything like that. If, if walk around some, your house. Yeah. Get some new um, outdoor pillows. There's a good five dollars Walmart. Good pop yes. of color just to make that backyard have that just the same appeal mm -hmm. as the front. And that goes for anyone. That goes for young couples. That goes for family. That goes for elderly. Everybody wants a good place to relax at the end of the day. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, like I said, just walk around the house and look for, if you've got siding, look for, like, where the siding has, like, discolored. Maybe because, you know, grass has blown up over it for years right. or something like that. And just 
hose it off real quick if you can, or get a pressure washer. Um, if you need somebody to come and pressure wash your house, you know, we do know people who do mm -hmm. that. You can Absolutely. always contact us. Um, we'll help get you in the right direction of any kind of handyman work, cleaner that you need. I mean, we know these people. We know people. a lot of people, we yeah. That can um, help. So I know we've kind of given you a little touch on the do's and don'ts. So I think now maybe why your question is, why is home staging a good thing to do to sell a home? Well, I, mean, I think it is. I think it is really, really important. The biggest thing, it is adding value to your home. Yes. And when you're selling, what do you want? The most money that you can get. So I think home staging is a good thing because it is putting more money in your pocket and yeah, it is. And then you won't, and you want to sell quickly. Most people Absolutely. want to go into contract. They want to sell quickly because they're ready to get into their new house mm -hmm. and, and make that investment. Or if you're, if this is just a rental property, if they're ready to get that money back and go to buy something else, do whatever. This, yeah. go on vacation, whatever, whatever, you're, it whatever it is that's making you want to sell yes. downsize, upgrade, you, you know, whatever the case may be, you're wanting out of there. And I think home staging is a good thing to do to add value. Yes. I think it adds tremendous value. So, Anyhow, I think that might be it for today. Don't yeah, you obviously, you guys, if you have any questions on this or if you have any questions, if you want a list, please give us a call. Yes, if you please. have buyers, please give us a call. Buy one, one free. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're, you know, run as a team now. There's two of us and we are dedicated to you guys. So my number is 931 Two five three one four three two, and mine's nine three one three four five two four zero six. You can also reach us at our office. It's nine three one seven six two four two four seven. Absolutely, you can find us on all social media: YouTube, Google, Instagram, TikTok. You Thanks can find us everywhere, guys. <laughs> Please give us a call. Yes. Hope everyone has a great day. Catch Thank us next you. week. Also, bye, guys. Bye.